I don't want my dog locked in my room for so long. My roommate I own and furnish the property often leaves for 10 hours at a time and comes home. Drunk they drive 5-ish days a week. The other night, the roommate came home drunk and complained that they really don't want their dog locked up in their room for so long. The room is 250 square feet, with a full living room, bed, and ensuite bathroom. I have a dog and their dog doesn't like mine. My dog stays on the main floor exclusively. The roommate's dog snarls at my dog constantly. It is in the contract that neither of us is under any obligation to be responsible for the other's dog. But we verbally agreed to let each other's dog out back from time to time. Dude, you're the one gone for 10 hours a day, not my responsibility, not my problem. ETA I have learned from many helpful people that as a landlord, if in fact my roommate's dog is a service animal, it is not protected by the ADA in this situation. Everything would be under FHA HUD. As well, I have learned that since I rent fewer than four properties and the fact that I live in the same residence, I am exempt from many of the laws. As well, I will begin to record the interactions between the two dogs. If I need to kick him out for unsafe living conditions, I want to have proof. Guess you'll be taking your dog with you when you go out because I'm not going to risk my dog getting attacked because your dog has anger issues and you're never here with it. Then come home earlier? Why are we all overlooking the glaring fact that OP's roommate tenant is regularly drinking and driving? The only upside to this guy's dog being stuck in his room is that the poor pooch won't die when his owner drives his drunk self into a telephone pole. If you know he's driving drunk on a regular basis, you have a legal and moral duty to call that in. Not only for him, but before he kills someone. His luck is going to run out eventually. And you can stop a tragedy. Poor dog. Um. Tenant? Maybe you can spend less than 10 hours a day getting shit-faced and actually. You know. Be a Gorham adult and take care of your own dog? Anyone going to address the fact roommate is driving drunk? X200B. If you know the approximate time he drives in a convenient call to alert a blue Mustang being driven by a drunk person may save a life. It will also make it easier to rid yourself of this douche and get a better roommate without a dog. That is a terror. Well, it sounds like you and your dog are gonna have to find another landlord to look after your dog. This isn't working. He leaves the dog for 10 hours a day? Poor dog must walk with its legs crossed. If you're the landlord, you might want to see what damage that dog is doing. My husband and I both have service dogs. For a dog to be a true service dog it has to have basic obedience. If the dog isn't trained in any way it's not a service animal and you can get the registration on. Amazon for like $25. So he could even have the correct paperwork but that doesn't make it a service dog. He sounds like an ass. Dude. You're the one gone for 10 hours a day. Not my responsibility. Fair. We verbally agreed to let each other's dog out back from time to time. Ah. Well. If you agreed to that. Then your roomie is reasonable to expect that you would actually do what you agreed to do. The roommate's dog snarls at my dog constantly. You two guys cannot share accommodation. This is a deal breaker. Why are you renting to someone with an aggressive dog? Let the dog out if you can. It's the innocent victim here. I feel sorry for the dog. Doesn't sound like the owner is interested in taking care of the animal. Poor dog I know it's not your fault or problem. But the poor dog is probably suffering from your selfish roommate. Also, they drive drunk? That's also a big problem crying. 
Look up how to properly introduce animals having a shared space where both dogs can leave their scents for example as long as they don't pee. It's not guaranteed, but worth a try see if your dogs can get along. Where does the dog go to the bathroom during these 10-hour periods? Frankly it's cruel to lock a dog in a small bedroom for 10 hours a day. Your roommate is a poss and shouldn't have an animal that he obviously can't or won't properly care for. If I were you I'd contact your local animal control and explain the situation to them. I don't own a dog for this reason. Dogs need human interaction. It's cruel to leave a dog alone for a whole day on a regular basis. Unless you really need the money just fucking kick them out. Sounds like a horrible situation dog or no dog. Also, don't be so soft with your pets. Call 911 when you know she's driving drunk. On the emotional support animal issue. A homeowner who rents out a part of the home is not required to accept an emotional support animal. And this is why they make doggy day cares. Get home earlier. My roommate did this. You know I'm working but never explicitly asked me and also never took good care of the dog at all. Had this exact scenarios with a buddy in the past my apartment. My dog stayed on the bottom floor and his stayed in his bedroom on the second. I stood my ground about him either a buying a gate or b getting his own place. Invite them to move out. You are lucky that the end of September is not too far away. I'd tell him verbally a reminder that he has only until September 30th. And then on August 30th I would give him a I am not renewing the lease therefore you are expected to move out by September 30th letter. Poor dog. Is your roommate a professional driver? Like with a commercial driver's license? Or do they drive Uber or deliver food? If it's commercial, they definitely might not be able to drive for work legally if they are coming home drunk all the time. Not getting enough sleep is also a big concern operating heavy machinery. Time to call their boss. Maybe? It's probably not a real service dog. You can pay 50 bucks to a vet to give you a letter saying they are emotional support animals. If mostly used when people can't find a place to live that allows pets. Sounds like my old roommate, basically using us as free dog sitters while they go f around. A service dog has to under the owner's control at all times. You have every right to ask to see the paperwork a real service animal has it as a future heads up. You're not obligated to but it would be nice to the dog if you let him out once or twice. This isn't a service animal or even an ESA. ESA owners do have paperwork from their doctor in regards to the necessity of the animal. It is also legal to ask for that documentation however it isn't legal to ask what the issues are. For requiring the ESA. ESAs go pretty much everywhere with owner. It's unfortunate. The situation your roommate's dog is in. You can do what you can. And if you can. Give it a better quality of life. At the end of the day that's the best we can do as it's really not the dog's fault. I mean. I don't think you can regret any action you take that improves its quality of life. Forget about your roommate and do what you can within your means. Have the dogs ever spent time together outside? If they get to know each other in a public much larger space they might actually learn to get along and then they won't need to be locked up so much. This is not gonna end well for your dog. You only have six weeks left before the end of roommate's lease so let the dog out occasionally until then. I wouldn't want a dog trapped in a room in my house for that long anyway I'd be afraid of potty. Accidents. Chewing on door. Woodwork etc. You can buy documentation for your animals starting that they are service animals. 
Landlords can't even ask for the papers as it violates ADA and fair housing laws which is asinine. Especially has a disability that isn't obvious. Such as being blind.